Welcome to Bobbitt's Site Orientation. We are glad that you've partnered with us. Before you begin working, here are some of our expectations for you as a subcontractor. Bobbitt's safety program is based on protecting the PAIR. PAIR is an acronym that stands for People, Environment, Assets, and Reputation. P stands for People. We want to protect our employees, subcontractors, visitors to the site, and the public who live and work around our construction zone. E is for environment. It is important that we are mindful of pollution, garbage, and waste on the job site. We also want to have a work environment where all trades feel supported and appreciated. A is for assets. This includes, but is not limited to, equipment, tools, and vehicles that belong to Bobbitt, its subcontractors, and our clients. R stands for reputation. We want Bobbitt, our subcontractors, and our clients to be in good standing with the community. By performing work safely, we avoid negative reviews and press for all stakeholders. As a subcontractor for Bobbitt, we expect you to protect the pair every day that you work on our site. While working on a Bobbitt site, you should wear the following items at all times. Failure to wear the proper PPE on site can result in dismissal. Workplaces are dynamic environments. Many trades are working at one time. Sites can be loud and there are many types of powered vehicles present. Wearing a high visibility vest ensures that others see you, especially when they are operating machinery. At any given time on a construction site, you will see cutting, grinding, mixing, painting. All of these activities provide the potential for flying objects. Because of this, all Bobbitt employees and subcontractors are required to wear eye protection while on site. Head injuries can be very serious or even fatal. Hard hats protect you from falling objects, reduce impact in the event of a fall, and dampen shock if you hit your head on an object above you. If you are working above six feet, you must have a helmet with a chin strap to prevent it from falling off. Wearing safety toe boots will protect you from falling tools and materials, as well as potentially being run over by equipment such as forklifts and scissor lifts. Long pants provide protection from cuts, scrapes, and bruises that can occur when working with sharp objects and heavy equipment. They can also provide protection from insects, pests, sunburn, and chemical exposure. The following PPE is not required at all times, but should be worn when necessary. Your hands are important. Protect them so that you can do your work and enjoy your hobbies. Be sure to wear gloves when handling sharp or rough materials, using cutting equipment, handling debris, or using heavy equipment. If you need to shout to be heard on a construction site, you should be wearing hearing protection. This applies to everyone in the area, even if you're not the one making the noise. Prolonged exposure to 85 decibels or higher can permanently damage your hearing. Harnesses and lanyards must be worn at all times when working at heights of 6 feet or above. Fall protection equipment must be inspected each day before use for tears, abrasions, corrosion, and visible wear. Always tie off when using a boom lift or a scissor lift. A clean job site is important not only for safety, but for our reputation. Let's hear what a few of our superintendents say about housekeeping on a construction site. The two most important reasons to having a clean job site are safety and presentation. A clean job site is a safe job site. The clean environment enhances safety, reducing the risk of accidents and injuries caused by clutter or misplaced tools. It also boosts productivity in the field when everything is organized and easily accessible. We got plumbing here, we got material here for studs, we got electrical in the back, more plumbing, we got sheetrock. A safe job site is a presentable job site that you can bring potential clients and customers to showcase your work. Automobile manufacturers design cars with bumpers, sensors, airbags, seat belts, cameras, and crumple zones because the conditions for a collision exist at all times on the road. It's not if an accident will happen, but when. 
In the same manner, the conditions for an injury on a construction site are always present. So how can we plan for these events to reduce the number and severity of injuries? Accident investigation data shows that injuries occur when a person comes into contact with one or more of the following energy sources. Motion, gravity, sound, radiation, biological, chemical, temperature, pressure, electrical, and mechanical. This energy wheel contains all the types of energy that you might encounter on a job site. Despite the best pre-task planning, conditions are ever-changing, so be aware of uncontrolled energy. Before each task that you perform on site, we ask that you look for the four Ds. Is it dumb? Is it something that you're being asked to do that is unnecessarily difficult or illogical? Is it dangerous? Is the task clearly risky or hazardous to workers or the environment? Is it difficult? Is the task so unusual, demanding, or challenging that further resources or discussion are needed before you proceed? And is the task different? Are you being asked to perform the task in an unusual or new way that you are not sure about and that may introduce new risks that have not been addressed? If you answer yes to any of these, seek clarification from a superintendent prior to starting the work. It is critical that all hazards are addressed prior to starting the job. A proactive approach before and during work, along with open communication, will increase your site's safety capacity. Thank you for watching this site orientation. At this time, your Bobbitt superintendent will cover site-specific logistics such as parking, muster points in case of emergency, location of first aid stations, etc. We appreciate your efforts to produce quality work in the safest manner possible.